Hello and welcome again. I'm Matt Drury and this is another edition of Critical Mass Extreme right here on DoD TV. The intensity has picked up this season on Critical Mass as we are three episodes in our newest network creation. We hope you've enjoyed our latest collaboration with Lost Yoke only on Outdoor Channel. Now, it's time that we dive into some of that extra content. If you caught week three's episode of Critical Mass on Outdoor Channel, you know it was nothing short of another fast-paced episode. Brother-in-laws Jared Gibson and Steve France were set to face off in this battle of family outdoorsmanship. Jared brought an epic encounter to the skinning shed in his first attempt to persuade the cast in the MOTV jury. After wowing them with this brute, the stage was set for Jared to run our Critical Mass Extreme Archery course. Let's see just how tough this brotherly bond is. Take it away, gentlemen. To complete our extreme archery course, our challenger must take aim at four unique targets, all while being shot at by a reigning defender in an attempt to claim the top spot on our Tacticam leaderboard. The timer will stop when they hit the final target. The competitor will have four tries to hit each target. An unsuccessful target attempt will add 10 seconds to their overall time, except for the final shot. The marksman that can thread this needle will actually have 10 seconds removed from their overall time, which makes speed and accuracy crucial to getting ahead. Are you ready? Steve, are you ready? On the count of three. Three, two, one. Now remember, Jared must hit a target at each stage, all while Steve is aiming for him in an effort to throw off his shots in slowest time, adding another challenge level to our extreme archery course. Come on, Jared! Come on, Jared! Oh! Come on, Jared! Oh! Just hit him! Oh! Get him, get him, get him! Oh, he's got one more arrow, Steve. Come on, one more, let's go, one more. Last arrow, he's gotta run. Oh! Get him when he's running! Get him, get him, get him! Go, get him! Come on, come on, come on! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad course time there, Jared. And if it wasn't for your 20 seconds of added penalties, you'd have been sitting atop our leaderboard, above your brother-in-law. Let's hear a little bit about what our challenger had to say to our defender after their run in this week's extended look at the Walker's Game Year Isolation Booth. Well, what you think? That was crazy. I thought you almost beat me in that competition. I know, I did too. I thought I was going faster than I was. You, you almost know, got but... me. You almost got me. Yeah. I had like three or four seconds. I'd have been... Yeah, I don't know. I had a hard time seeing the clock. I couldn't tell, you know, what the time was, but I knew it was going to be close. I think I actually got a faster time. I just got 20 seconds of penalty. So, yeah. you know, which I know on those last two, I was just a hair off. I mean, those things are definitely, they're hard oh. to shoot because you just have to practice much. Yeah. So. They're hauling for us now. Yeah. I guess we got to see who wins this. Go see the verdict, man. <laughs> Good luck, dude. Looks like Jared and Steve's holiday dinner just got a little bit spicier right there. Nice job, boys. Following his course run, Jared brought a harvest to the skinning shed. The cast had plenty to say about this Illinois brute, but ultimately Steve France would prevail. Steve was able to reveal another hunt to the MOTV clubhouse due to his time being faster than Jared's. Let's jump into the timber with Steve and Kipton as we relive that hunt. All right, guys, it's February 4th. We're here in Alabama. I got my main man, Kipton, with me, my firstborn son. We're going down to a food plot this evening, see if we can't get him on his first deer. It's a nice lane planted through some thick planted pines. There's bedding on both sides. Been seeing a lot of deer in there, several deer on trail camera. We're just looking for anything that walks out that old Kipton wants to take a shot at. We're going to head on down here and get in this blind. All right, we just got settled in the blind. We had like a bunch of sardines. I got my nephew, Mike France, behind the camera filming us. I got Kip behind the 243 with the Winchester Deer Season XP ammunition. See if we can't make it happen. We got angles running everywhere. We got a Tacticam behind us. Tacticam on the gun. Got two other angles out in front of us. So a lot of deer using this field. It's so hot in here, I had to pull my jacket off. It's a little, a little warm it's in warm. here. Typical Alabama hunting, but Sometimes we feel like they move better in the heat in Alabama than they do in the cold.
it's okay. You want to let the little one move out the way first. She turns sideways. You hear me? Yes. Wait, put it right behind her front shoulder, okay? Yes. Yeah, squeeze it off. Squeeze it. Get it. You got her, buddy. You got her. Yes. You got her, man. You got her, dude. You got her, man. That's awesome, dude. Good shot, man. Good shot, bud. Yes, you squeeze it off. What do you think about that? Was you nervous? Huh? <laughs> I've seen you breathing hard. You're real nervous. You hit her, man. Daddy's seen her jump. Too far, man. It's awesome, buddy. I'm proud of you, man. First deer kept in France. Got it done in Alabama on February the 4th, huh? Mm hmm Had a really good blood trail there, didn't we? That pretty fun? Mm hmm We can eat some deer bacon like you like, deer sausage. But you want to shoot a big buck next time? Mm hmm I've been hunting all season and all my life. And this is the most happiest I've ever been right now than any deer I've ever killed. My little boy Kitten got his first deer. I'm so, so excited. I killed six really good bucks this year. They don't hold a candle to this hunt right here with my little boy Kitten. Put a good shot with the 243 Deer Season XP. We followed a good blood trail down here and got her, didn't we, buddy? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm so happy. You ready to get her out of here? Mm -hmm. Wow, those memories are priceless. As a father, I can't wait to take my son out and have that same exact thing. Those are memories you'll cherish for a lifetime, Kipton. Trust me. We hope you all enjoyed this segment of Critical Mass Extreme. Don't forget to catch the full 30-minute episode of Critical Mass airing only on Outdoor Channel. Until we meet again, be safe out there and always remember, identify those hunting targets. For more exclusive Critical Mass content, download the MOTV app on the Apple or Android store today.